Uh, hi everyone, and uh, this will be a hopefully a relatively short lecture about Tiwa, so uh, how to uh, use the system. And uh, this will not be about uh, competitive auctions, uh, but it's a very famous uh, transfer-based me uh, based method, and I hope uh, I will give you some idea on how to how to do it. There are many different ways of doing it. In fact, here I'm going to show you two ways, so um, you'll be able to. Um, to uh to decide for yourself if you want to play it i think in some countries this is actually not allowed i think there was some discussion that maybe in the us it's not allowed but uh, it depends on your club obviously and uh, i think online anything goes so <laughs> and it's not a destructive method it's actually uh, it, it it actually has a very solid theoretical background and we're we're doing it to help ourselves and not to um, um, annoy the opponents in fact, often you we will give them uh, one extra step, but I'm not going to talk about it at all. I'm just going to talk about uh, the constructive elements to it. So, like in the standard system, you have this dilemma: like, what do you do with diamonds if you have a major? Like, one way of uh, doing it, I think it's kind of old-fashioned, but um, maybe still valid. It's just uh, bidding up the line. You just bid. One diamond whenever you have hearts and uh, hearts and diamonds uh, you just say like well if my partner has hearts uh, they will bid it and we will find it anyway this has obvious uh, drawbacks if in case uh, now your left hand opponent um, comes in with two spades or three spades or one spade even can be annoying so uh, um, then some some people uh, decided to to hide their shape a bit and uh, ignore diamonds from 4-4 then then in the next iteration you can try to think about well yeah but if i have 5-4 that's nice but uh yeah if the opponent's bit spades or something then this is still annoying and uh imagine my partner just raises to two hearts i want to get out there and uh, i will have hit my diamonds so like maybe hide it from here as well and then finally of course even from 6-4 or 7-4 you can hide it and uh, basically, one diamond will deny a major unless you have maybe 13 plus, but even there, some people uh, hide hide it even there. Uh, I've seen it happen. So, um, basically, one diamond will deny a major uh, for some people. And then the other, the kind of from another direction, you can think about, well, I mean, do I really need to bid diamonds if, if I don't have a major? I mean... Um, Imagine I have this balanced, balanced, ugly hand. Um, maybe, what's the point of bidding diamonds anyway? I just bid one no trump, right? And if you bid one no trump with it, then you will start thinking, well, okay, well, this is not four triple three, but it kind of looks like it. I have this spade stopper. So maybe one diamond will show five plus shape. And then finally, with that hand, you you might as well say like, well, I can just support clubs with this, right? So uh, two or three clubs, depending obviously what your partner's uh, one club showed, but uh, one way of doing it is just saying like, well, I'm just not gonna bid one diamond, maybe maybe with 13 plus or some kind of a slam try, but uh, anything less than that, I'm just gonna bid some number of no trumps or show a fit in clubs or, or fake a major or whatever. So like in the end, you're gonna end up in a system which just never bids one diamond, so like, never bid one diamond and now if you just try to think about just very simple bidding theory like one club one diamond is a very cheap bid right you can find many different contracts from it you can um, find many different strains or um, levels or everything so actually never bidding one diamond is probably a bad idea and uh, if um, so all of those strategic reasons that I mentioned are, are valid. So like actually there's a good reason not to bid one diamond if it shows diamond. So then logically what it would follow is that one diamond shouldn't show diamond. It should show something else, right? So like this is the de facto standard. And then T wash would just uh, kind of scramble these three calls here. So one diamond would show hearts, one heart would show spades, and one spade would show diamonds or maybe no trumps like kind of a balanced -ish hand one no trump you can now have it eight to ten no trumpy it's one way of doing it other people even do it like 11 to 12 no trumpy it's interesting but then personally i would say then you're not bidding one no trump enough but um feel free free to to uh, ignore it the main point is that one 
one or Trump would then um, uh, show some specific range with some specific hand, and then one spade could have could then have like a bunch of them. Like, for example, then if we really do it this way, then one spade could show like less than eight or more than ten. If you're balanced, you don't need to jump to two no Trump or three no Trump. You can if you want if you want it that way, but one spade would allow you to have this um, this option. And one spade could also have eight to ten not no trumping. So if you have these two aces, um, you don't really want to declare no trump. And I mean, this is also some um, confusion, I think, for many players. Like they, they say like, well, I have aces. I don't want to play no trump. This is true, but not because no trump is a bad contract. It's probably because one no trump is a better contract for your partner's side. So like your partner would have a bunch of um, stoppers like queens, jacks, King Jack, stuff like that. Uh, as we've seen in the previous video, um, or as I'm uh, alluded to in my previous video, then their actually partner will often uh, be a better declarer. I mean, <laughs> in my case, it's literally true. Often my partner is a better declarer, but uh, um, it's just a better a better uh, side to play it from. And if you have all these um, tennises like King Jack and Queen and everything, then maybe you want to bid one on Trump. So like this gives you an extra option at least. Um, yeah, so then what do you do about follow-ups? And this is where my video will kind of split in two and there will be structure A and structure B. And I know like I mentioned to Kuchang that uh, there will be, uh, I will make a video on T-Wash and he said that there's too many ways to play it. And he's definitely right on this. But uh, here I'm gonna show you two main ways and uh, uh, there you still need some agreement when you agree on one of the two ways because there's then you would have like several different sub uh, sub ways uh, <laughs> sub possibilities but these are the two main ways you can play it so like without further ado let's see structure A would show that accepting uh, shows a three card fit and everything else denies it basically. So one club, one diamond shows four hearts, right? Now one heart would show three hearts in any hand. One spade is natural but denies um, three hearts. One no trump, 12 to 14 balance without three hearts. So by uh, um, just like logically then it would show two hearts. Although sometimes you might have to bid one no trump with a stiff. But that's a topic for uh, a few slides after this. Two clubs which shows six clubs without three hearts and uh, everything else just denies three hearts. So it's actually very, very simple, but uh, quite effective. So imagine your partner bits one club, one diamond, two clubs. And now you know that your partner doesn't have a fit. Like you would have a five card heart suit, but your partner denied a three card fit already. Then often you will be able to bid three no trump or, or three clubs or just passing two clubs because you know that there is no, uh, uh, no fit. So that's, that's quite useful. Um, and just raising uh, hearts, like kind of raising yourself, it's just, uh, ah, sorry, your partner raising you uh, just shows uh, four cards, uh, four card support. Now the follow-ups to this, so everything other than um, the simple accept, uh, you just know it from your own system, so you can agree to whatever you want. You can agree to just keep it the way you had it, for example. But over this um, one heart, it, it might be worth uh, thinking about what to do. So, for example, you can pass this transfer completion if you have a super, super, super minimum hand with four or five hearts. So, for example, this hand here with uh, king fifth and uh, basically nothing, then uh, you probably do do best to just pass one heart. Every now and then you're missing a game, like if your partner have a, has a very shapely 21 count or something. But uh, as opposed to that, um, um, probably uh, it's good to, to pull the brakes, mm. especially if it's the same hand and only four hearts. Uh, two or three hearts would show a minimum with five or six hearts, but like kind of a normal minimum um, response. So maybe six to seven points or so, you can just uh, raise yourself. And one spade or one on trump would just be a natural non-forcing bid with four hearts. Now two clubs, you can play it as a relay, usually with a five card heart suit, but also with a four card suit if you are try trying to find out what your partner has. 
So two diamonds, this is one way of arranging it. I think it's pretty popular, but uh, uh, again, if uh, it's something that I played, so like uh, then from my point of view, it's popular because uh, I'm asking myself, but so two diamonds would show a minimum unbalanced, two hearts, minimum balanced, and then two spades, maybe maximum unbalanced, and two no trump is uh, kind of maximum balanced, which in this case would be 18, 19 balanced, and uh, two no trump, would be a relay, maybe asking for a shortness or so. And something higher is than a monster. It's something like an, I don't know, 18 plus count where a partner uh, was afraid of missing hearts. So they wanted to show a heart fit first. So three hearts uh, first and then uh, showing the rest of their distribution by jumping over this relay. Um, the famous uh, bridge world hand of death for example like six or seven solid minor and um and a three card fit and then you're never quite sure if you're supposed to jump to three no trump or like uh, beat the major or what and um and uh, basically um this is one way of getting around it uh, i should also mention that some people i think play one heart is forcing one round and other people um do not play it as forcing, but have some other special bids that uh, maybe show um, uh, may maybe show uh, a three card hard fit with a solid minor or so. But uh, this, just the way I, I wrote it here, is also fine, and it's definitely clearly already an improvement over standard methods, where you sometimes have to wonder if your partner has a three card fit or not. Um, now let's go. F for structure B, and first I'm gonna uh, explain just the rebids of opener. So like accepting shows a waiting bid. So one heart would show kind of a weak no trump usually, or maybe a problem hand. So for for example, a weak no trump is this uh, thirteen count without a uh, four card hit, and the problem hand is maybe this one where. You didn't really want to open one diamond with it. You don't really want to uh, rebid two clubs with a bad five card suit. And um, it's definitely not strong enough for the reverse. So you you just you just have this very simple and convenient waiting bid of one heart. Now, one spade would then be a natural and unbalanced hand. So because you went over one heart, it means that you don't have a weak no trump. Um, but the main win here, which I think is huge, and it's probably my my preferred structure is the structure B, is that you can bid one no trump with 18, 19 balanced. So you manage to get out on the one level with such a strong hand, which is, uh, I mean, it's it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big deal, honestly. Um, two no trump now would also be available for like a very strong raise, for example. So four card fit with 18 plus uh, points and I mean now depending on how you interpret points um, let's not get into that discussion again but this is basically the power raise you are very st strong strong and interested in slam even mm. and then two hearts would be just normal three hearts would be kind of a standard three heart raise but definitely based on uh, distribution and not uh, high card points and four hearts would be then Again, based on distribution rather than high card points. So, uh, for example, a 6-5, I mean, you don't want to not be in game with this. So you might as well tell, tell your partner, I don't have a lot of points, like high card points, but I'm pretty sure we belong to game. And uh, yeah, maybe like 7-4 or, or uh, some something similar. Mm. And then when you're not quite strong enough for 2 no trump you can also bid 4 hearts. But definitely here, uh, this, is a, this is a huge win for us because uh, otherwise, yeah, you have a huge dilemma all the time. When your responder and your partner raises you to 4 hearts, like what's going on? Is this based on distribution or high card points? And depending on your hand, this could matter a lot. Um, I should also mention in passing, it's not here on the slide, but... Um, some of these drums you can even figure out which um, 
splinter you might, your partner might have. So for example, with this hand with a stiff diamond, you also have three diamonds available. So um, um, you have that extra option of like showing a, a splinter, like a mini splinter on the three level. If it's uh, higher than one, one club, which in this case, everything is higher than one club. Um, but uh, yeah, you you have to agree uh, uh, to this as well. So maybe this this hand might have uh, wanted to bid uh, three diamonds instead of three hearts. But just for uh, illustration purposes, these are like some rough example hands that uh, you can now do for uh, raising. And the the more raises you have, the better off you are, as you might have uh, noticed. So. Uh, now, in terms of follow-ups, actually, this is a, a pretty simple, simple approach. So, like, over this one heart, you kind of assume that your partner has a weak note trump. So, what is kind of standard over a weak note trump is just XYZ or two way and check back where two clubs forcing uh, forces two diamonds, which is sign up for an invitation, and two diamonds is game forcing. Uh, one note trump, 18-19 balanced, XYZ as usual. And then finally, the other interesting bit that I showed or I, I introduced was this 2 no trump uh, showing 18 plus um, and uh, kind of a Jacobi like a, a power raise. Actually, natural is not a bad approach here. You just kind of bid your four card suits up, to, up the line <laughs> as responder for a change. Or uh, maybe you can show like some kind of a modified Jacobi system where uh, maybe, maybe you're better off uh, trying to concoct your own three club uh, probably you want to have it show a minimum and show shortnesses or lengths or whatever you want uh, maybe have a cheap bid that would show that you have a five card suit but nothing else to say and so on because this is now a jacobi situation where we don't know that we have a five four fit we only know that the opener has a four card fit so um, maybe you will have to work on this a bit but um, um, yeah it's it's basically a pretty uh, standard and simple system, which is definitely better than than standard. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, you gain the raise and uh, you gain the whole level with 18, 19 balanced. And um, yeah, with some of these problem hands, maybe you want to break this two club transfer, but maybe it's also just fine to, um, to let your partner say, uh, um, say their piece and um, uh, try to listen to what they have to say. Now, finally, or almost finally, I have uh, something to say about one club, one spade, which is kind of no trumps or uh, diamonds. One no trump is 11 to 15 waiting, so actually with a minimum hand opener has only two bids available, so one no trump or two clubs, and two clubs um, you probably want to keep it as six, six plus. Clubs are in some extreme cases, maybe you want to have um, two clubs on a five card suit, but one no trump is the normal thing that opener will do, 11 to 15 waiting, over which now minor suit calls by a responder uh, should just be to play. So it's actually very simple. Two clubs is just some, some hand like this where you didn't really want to jump to three clubs or, or uh, bid one no trump yourself. So now you're going to try to attempt to... Um, to sign off in two clubs and the same hand with minors reverse it can be two diamonds and now suddenly you're back in um, in the same situation as uh, standard players you're uh, you're back there it's you didn't really lose anything um because one of trump eight all the room basically and now this is the interesting part maybe this two hearts would be a semi-natural cause so it's either natural with five four um or maybe just a stopper this is something that you can adopt also in your standard system. Uh, it's a stopper like three plus, um, three plus, and now two no trump would be invitational, and finally three clubs and three diamonds would be some kind of natural invitations with diamonds. So something like this, and uh, just in passing, maybe you want to agree that one clubs two diamonds is some kind of a semi-invitational hand with six card uh, diamonds, because it's not something that. Uh, you can easily bid here, although it's this is this is the same case uh, uh, for standard bidders. Like this kind of eight eight to ten, you have to like bid one diamonds and then three diamonds basically, or or two diamonds and uh, hope that your partner uh, doesn't have a bit of extra, and then 
then, then you'll get in trouble. So like this is one one way of bidding uh, uh, diamond hands. It's it's something that you don't really need too much one club two diamond. But yeah, it's it's all up to you basically. So finally, uh, over the semi natural two two over major. So imagine you have one of these two hands. Your partner can bid two no trump in a with a stop in the other major. So with this hand, they will bid two no trump, and then you will raise to three. Actually, with both hands, three of a major. So in this case, three hearts would show a th four card fit, but without a stop in the other major. So something like this. Now this hand will be well. Okay, with this hand uh, now you have two uh, kings of hearts, but uh, let's say it's uh, that one is the queen as well. Um, that hand will be happy and will uh, go to game. In fact, slam is not too bad, so maybe. That's also something to investigate, but uh, let's say we're just happy to find game. Yeah, you can bid three hearts, you can bid three spades, which is probably a shortness, right? So yeah, it's, it's actually interesting, and then you're actually finding slam there, so that's awesome. I, <laughs> I just put some random example hands here. Um, and this hand that doesn't have a spade stop either, but only three card hearts, now suddenly... Um, you can think of playing uh, well either five diamonds or maybe uh, uh, maybe four hearts. It's actually uh, something that's pretty uh, pretty neat. You're you're gonna find some kind of moisture fit. So four four three um, and three no trump has both. So it has both uh, hearts and a, a spade stop. So this is a semi common convention. So this jump to three no trump showing a stop in the ambit suit and a four card fit. You have to agree uh, to it with your partner, but um, uh, it's actually a very useful convention. I don't know that it has a name. I've seen it in many different systems, but I uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've seen it, for example, in the Polish club system by Yasam, but uh, I've seen it played by others as well. Anyway, yeah, it's um, something you should think about. Even if you're not going to play a T wash, you can still play it in, for example, one diamond, two clubs. So one diamond, two clubs, two diamonds. And now uh, I can show this kind of a semi-natural uh, two major, uh, either um, a natural or a stopper. Um, now, finally, which is a bonus slide, you're, feel free to uh, tune out here. Uh, one thing that people really like to do when they play T wash is to play an unbalanced one diamond opener. So, um, you open one club with every, with every uh, weak no trump. I personally find this a bit too much, but on the other hand, there's so many top players doing this that, like when when you're in doubt between me and top players, you should probably trust the top players. So. Um, in that case, one no trump, the one no trump rebid is then free. So now we have uh, kind of the same situation as after one club, where in one club you had this idle bid of one heart. Um, like one club, one diamond, one heart was an idle bid. You can use it for something. So in this case, we could either use it to show three card support or either use it to just idle. And then the one no trump uh, rebid was freed. In this case, it's just automatically freed, so now you can uh, decide to use it for various things. So for example, one diamond, one heart, you could keep it very simple and show one no trump showing three card support. And two club relay would be as, as before. So two clubs would ask like, what's your hand type and uh, what's your strength? And the balanced hand in that case would maybe just show a four, four card uh, diamond suit rather than um, a five card one. Um, yeah, it's, it's again, it's up to you. There are two fancier ways you can bid on. One is transfers. So <laughs> transfers, I will always be for uh, pro transfers. So one on Trump would show clubs. Two clubs would show diamonds. And two diamonds would be a good raise. So, so, so something like this. So diamonds, hearts, and a pretty good raise. But maybe you don't really want to jump to three hearts with this hand. If you don't have to, you might as well try to stop in two. Two diamonds would be a good raise. And two hearts would be a bad raise. So 
maybe even a three card raise. Um, because again, we're in the fancy structure, so you don't have one no trump showing three card support. And um, and yeah, you can do uh, something like this. It's uh, pretty cute. Of course, you have to know as responder that the, your partner is doing this, so you have to agree. And of course, uh, opener can even try to like transfer to clubs and then bid diamonds. And then in that case, you show six four, uh, and you're st you're still uh, at a very low level, so you can still stop in two diamonds. And the semi fancy or uh, it's kind of a very elegant mixture of the two is the switch. So for example, one diamond would show one no trump would show six card diamonds. Uh, where two clubs from responder to this one no trump would show some interest and two diamonds and two hearts would show a very weak hand so like please let me go partner I want to play this or two clubs two clubs would be natural and two diamonds and two hearts exactly as before so a good raise or a bad raise um, yeah both of these are pretty cute and these are just some things to think about because if you play one club with this transfer structure, then uh, so some people just say like, well, it's so nice. These transfers are so nice on, over one club that I'd rather just put all my balance hand into one club, and then one diamond would have this one no trump over um, one no trump rebid uh, freed up. So it's definitely one way of arranging these things. Some people actually just say like one no trump rebid shows uh, shortness in your partner's major and is an offer to blame. I can't blame them, but uh, I always feel like uh, uh, it's kind of a missed opportunity. So that that then like the one on Trump uh, rebid would basically promise to have a problem hand. And here I kind of carefully um, chose one heart because over one diamond, one heart, I always have the one spade rebid, so that uh, makes my life easier. But over one diamond, one spade, then you have suddenly you have much more uh, uh, problem hands. Uh, maybe you even want to use two diamonds there as transfer to hearts, so you're showing hearts, for example. But uh, yeah, that's something that you have to discuss with your partner. But yeah, yeah then, then it would be, for example, in the transfer case, one no trump would show clubs, two clubs would show diamonds, two diamonds over, over one spade would show hearts. Two hearts would then show a good raise in spades, and two spades would be a, a bad raise. So that, that that's also something that you can do. It's not too bad. On the other hand, sometimes uh, you will have to do it on uh, three three clubs here, but uh, that's something that standard players uh, got used to. Well, I hope this was useful, and I hope you will uh, discuss with your partner and try to understand this as well, and uh, try to uh, write up a system. And um, yeah, see you around. I'm gonna think of different of um, different topics that I can also add to this. But this tea wash is definitely something that uh, you should think about uh, adopting. Check with your authority if it's allowed, because I think it's not allowed in every country, unfortunately. Um, I will say that this is actually used by many, many experts and in many, many different ways. So it's not some kind of a pet project of mine. I have some pet projects of mine as well, but this is not one of them. So uh, yeah, I hope this was useful. Uh, see you around.